Hello Facebook, YouTube, the day of Uriel, Archangel, Light, Fire, all right, all right, well, not Wednesday, not Mercury Day, come on y'all, leave the cultist nonsense alone y'all, really, but anyway, um, well, the topic, oh, I'm finna have some interesting messages today uh, but the first one I'm going in with is um, the topic of the message I'm going I'm gonna, let me see what first now I start to write my message down because I tends to forget them sometimes you know uh, what I'm going in first with we're going in first in whoa oh we're going in with the reality of the spiritual bank account mmm Yes, the spiritual bank account that people don't are not realize that they have this spiritual bank account, you know. They're not aware of this account, you know, I notice, you know, and there, and that's a very big problem right there. That that is one of the most very big problem, really. Man, I can really get deep on this one, man. If I, maybe about this the reality of a natural world getting you focusing on a natural account and forgetting the spiritual bank account man I could woo. you be shocked you be shocked how the system is really catered of doing that but I'm not going to teach on that but what I got to uh, talk about this account now, here's the thing. Yes, we have a spiritual bank account. And the problem is we don't realize there's logistics to it. Now, Jesus clearly talked about to talks about logistics concerning, you know, uh the that, you know, but everything has logistics. Everything has logistics. Everything has a function. Everything proceeds in life. This, like you know, when you cut on your car, initial switch, and it goes, and everything, your energy keep flowing through it, and then all of a sudden, bam, your car cranks on. You know, everything has a procedure concerning logistics. Every little thing counts concerning something functioning you know in this world that's a real should be a reality that people are not aware of spiritually but now here's the thing people you know you have the spiritual bank account let's think in the natural of your natural bank account you started a spiritual bank account i hope you understand when you were born you started a spiritual bank account yeah when you were born, yeah, and when you start learning that you have a spiritual bank account, you know, you start, you know, God start, you know, more likely in the uh, adolescent of age, I believe, somewhere near, uh, out of, for certain people, I think seven or six, seven or eight, you start understanding that you know what's right and what's wrong, you know, or call it uh we're gonna call it with withdraw deposit you know what i'm saying um the thing is you know your actions are like money you know your actions are going to uh determine if something is going to get withdraw from you or something is going to be deposit in you you know, here's the thing that I'm going to present it as, you know, uh, this idea. I'm going to say that, guess what? The reality is, you know, Genesis 1.26, we're made in the image, in the likeness of God. And what happens is now, you know, we're made in the image, likeness of God. Either, some, either God get deposit in us or God get withdraw. <laughs> withdraw the things that he is about get withdraw out of us so 
the 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 deposit is the positive and the withdrawal is the negative is how I'm going to establish this message um see and the thing is we don't realize this world system is you know trying to you know you know withdraw all the God from out of us you know what I'm saying and the thing is is to make sure that we're operating in negative negative yeah we're you know like you you know like people do things negative say things negative cursing uh to people and they don't realize they're speaking of a withdrawal language you know what i'm saying they they're you like I, like a person said I, I heard a person said before that the reason why somebody will say something negative is because they didn't understand the positive way of expressing it you know uh the thing is people are not realizing that this world system you know concerning the people and things and television and radio and all these facets that it needs to uh make you believe that you're supposed to act a certain way you know that is contrary to your lively function you know what i'm saying that is contrary to you know you living, you know, and it's and how you doing? And it wants to, you to accept this uh, withdrawing nature. You know what I'm saying? That see, because the thing is, what happens is a person loses purity because we are created for God's service, whether. Whether we don't, whether we don't believe it or not, we're created for God's service to do, to do what He says. You know what I'm saying? But God presented us with a choice to choose to be, you know, to have Him to deposit Him, deposit the kingdom of God inside of us, or let, or get it withdrawn inside of us concerning our actions and stuff. Now, here's the thing I'm gonna um, show you. Now, God, you know how, like, you know, we have a bank account, you know, we have this people mail or, you know, they mail a, 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 a balance concerning our um, account. And, like, we know that we spent, uh-oh, we know that we spent money doing this and doing that and doing this. Now, watch how I'm going to use this spent. Well, I'm going to use the spent as spent. We know we spent time, you know, listening to negative stuff. And we know we spent time with being around negative people. We know that we spent time doing negative things. That when our, when our uh, bank statement, your bank statement comes, you know, we like, you know, Look, you know, we don't even, certain people don't even try to look at the bank statement because they know they're already in the negative. Yeah, you already know you're in the negative. But certain people, but you need to check your bank statement because you don't know how much you are in the negative. Yes, you, you know, and you know, it's amazing how people, we live our lives and stuff, you know, and we do things negative. And say things negative, and then we're shocked. Something negative and something bad happened to us. Oh my goodness! What? How did this bad thing occur? I can't believe this. This cannot happen to me. That I did something. Why am I in jail? Why am I in prison? Why do my wife wants to leave me? Why do my husband wants to leave me? Why do my kids doesn't like me? Why did I get fired off my job? Why uh, I got kicked out of school? Why, you know, this, that, why I got in this accident? Why did I, you know, why, uh, why did uh, the, my house ain't clean? Why, you know, all this negative stuff, simple stuff, why, why my car ain't clean? Why is this dirty? Why is this we like, why, 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 why? And you know what that why is supposed to do? It's a, but guess what, we'll ask that question being ignorant. Because here's what helps us to be ignorant. 
you know, God taught me. It's called lust. Lust is the element that will help us to become more ignorant of the reality of what we're doing concerning negativity. Yeah. Lust. You know, how about saying, why, why did, why, why did, like, you know, you know, in negative neighborhood, why this person got shot? Why this person, why this girl pregnant? Why this person got, you know, this? Why this person, we like to say, why this going on? Why, why they lost their house? Why they, you know, we like to say all that to ignore the reality, you know what I'm saying? Um, that person have been doing some um, negativity. <laughs> yes, you know, and the thing is, we will still ignore that reality. We're like, nah, 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 no, it's not that. No, it's not that. Hello, how y'all doing? Nah, 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 no, it's not that. No, it's not that. It's something else. It's something else in the natural that I want to believe other than that. That's how that that function works. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we we I think the word is procrastinate. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh, you know, we've been doing, you know, all these negative things, but guess what? Um, we have a spiritual bank account. That's the me that's, me that's the message. Title of this message: We have a spiritual bank account, and we're wondering why we're seeing negative things, doing negative things, and we're shocked that negative outcomes are happening, and we're wondering why they are happening, <laughs> and not want to look at the bank statement but just check, check this out god will always give us a bank statement we don't want to see it you know what i'm saying we don't want to see the bank statement man forget that man i ain't trying to you know here see see all those negative man i ain't trying to see all this you know forget that man whatever you know you know, and the thing is, people, you know, don't understand that they're so empty and withdrawn. They find themselves doing so much negative and, and participating in negative things and things, negative things happen in their body. And they're, they're mad and they're mad and they don't even know why they're mad. They're angry and they don't know why they're angry. They want to do something less of themselves and they don't know why they're doing less of themselves. Well, I'm going to answer that question for those that... You know, the simple question should be, the simple question of why, you know, I don't know why I'm mad, and, and you know, I'm just being angry, and I don't know why I'm angry. I'm, here's the simple answer. You're in the negative. Yeah, your, your spiritual uh, account is in the negative. That is the simple answer. That's what it is. And the thing is, look, if we want to get in a positive, we know what we got to do. Jesus Christ came to give us, put us in the positive. The kingdom of God, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these, and his righteousness and all these things will be added. Addition will come in your life when you start getting the kingdom of God of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. You know what I'm saying? When you start you know, seeking after Jesus, the word of God, you know what I'm saying? That the word of God can, you know, make it you rich and add no sorrow. You know, the word of God is supposed to give us our increase to get us depositing things that is something. But you know the truth, you know, I taught you about, you know, the, the kingdom of God is all about positing something in you. But, you know, the kingdom of the of darkness satan's kingdom of darkness is all about taking out stuff inside of you to make sure that nothing is in you that's what it's all about it's all about getting you like i said withdrawing satan is about withdrawing the things of god get, putting you in the situations and circumstances that you get mad and you get angry you do something negative the more you do that is subtracting and subtracting He's trying to put you in those situations that you will respond in a negative way to get nothing inside you so you may look at yourself and may think that you are nothing. And you will treat yourself like you're nothing. You will value yourself as you nothing. But when you put Jesus Christ in your life, you start to truly, truly become something. But you know the world system, y'all know how to do it. The, the stars, you know, uh, television, those sinful acts they're telling you that is something in the eyes of this worldly system these sinful acts but it's nothing 
You know what I'm saying? But y'all know if you want to be something, it's all in Jesus Christ. All right, that's the message. To God be the glory here and forever and ever in Jesus' name, amen.